Hey guys, so it's Thursday, um, March 31st, and I am getting ready to head out of town to the Final Four in Houston, Texas. And of course, I'm needless to say, you have to pack. Um, we, you know, I live in Maryland, so the temperature here is, um, I think today is like in the 40s, maybe, maybe like that, it's, it's like rainy outside, but in Houston, where we're going, um, it's in the 80s, and that's what it's going to be like, so that's going to be awesome right there, but in that process, you have to pack for 80 degree weather, even though I live in 40 degree weather right now, so I'm pulling out my flip-flops, as you can see, I will be taking those along with me. And as you can see, there's my suitcase. I'm still getting the clothes together and stuff like that. But what I was doing was I went on my phone and I was checking out the temperature. Um, so I know how to pack, obviously, for this trip. So I was going on my phone and I actually have it. And once I look it up here, here we go, the weather channel. Let's see, it's coming up. And I have it set. Oh, well, it came up. All right, so anyway, here is the, here is the deal. The 10 day forecast here in where I live at, it is um, like tomorrow will be 56, Saturday 54, um, Sunday 57, Monday 58, and 66 on Tuesday. But where I am going is in Houston, like I mentioned. And if I can get my phone to actually cooperate with me, here we go. Audio problem, that's not good. Houston, Texas. Okay, so anyway, here's the temperatures that are going to be in Houston. Today, 86, or I'm sorry, Friday, 86, Saturday, 82, Sunday, 83, Monday, 85, and then Tuesday when we leave, 76. That's going to be like the coldest day of the whole week. So I said, sweet. So needless to say, with that being done, I have to go buy, I, not buy, that's wrong. I have to go pack for shorts. Now, I don't know about you. But after a winter and you're wearing pants all the time and and you you have to get um, you start putting on shorts for the first time, it's like, are you kidding me? Your legs are all white and all that. And I'm gonna we're going to Houston with a couple of buddies, and well, I'm sure those people are wearing shorts the whole time and they're gonna have tans, so uh, they're gonna know that we're visitors because because we have white legs, uh, really white legs. So anyway, that's what I'm doing is packing and I'm pulling out shorts now. That I have not worn since last year, so I'm hoping they fit. I'm gonna try them on just to make sure, and we'll see from there. So I'll probably vlog. I'm taking my wife out tonight, and some people said, "Oh, you're just taking her out because you're going away." No, I've been doing this since 2002. I've been going every year for that, and I decided um, that my wife. You know, we've gone through a lot of stuff with um, just ministry and all, so. I'm taking her out tonight. I'm going to take her out to dinner. There's a place called Seaside, which has re got really good food. So we're going to go there. And then, surprise, she does not know this yet. But, because of where we're, where we're going tonight is a surprise, obviously. And where are the tickets? Oh, here they are. I am taking my wife, first of all, to the Hippodrome, which is like a musical thing. Now... That's more her style, not mine, but I'm deciding to do it for her. Um, but I did get to pick the movie, so I've, or the actual show. So the show that we're watching, I'm not sure if you can see it, but it's Shrek the Musical. So that's what she gets tonight, um, just for being my wife. So I, don't, I won't be blogging that, of course, just for the fact that I, don't, I think they would probably confiscate my camera if I decided to video that in there. But... Anyway, I'm going to try to video this whole week, this weekend, give you sights from Houston if you haven't been. Um, but I do have one question that I can ask you, if you guys can answer for me. Um, Sunday, you know, always when we go to the Final Four, we always find a church to go to. So if anyone who watches this knows of a, um, a good church, a good Bible church that we can go to in Houston, or, you know, somewhere in that Houston, we're going to be, I'm not sure exactly where we're staying. I know we're staying in Hampton Inn, but I'm not sure where in Houston. Um, and the... The place where we're, the Final Four is in Reliant Stadium, I think that's how you say it. So I just need to know if there's a, 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 a good Bible church in that area. If you know, could you please comment or, yeah, just comment let me know um, what that is. So anyway, I'll upload this and we'll get started. So about 
two weeks ago, I put my laptop into a certain store that I won't mention a name, and found out that it was only two months old, and they found out the hard drive went up. So I took it back to the store, um, not to mention its name, and well, I didn't know it was a hard drive at the time. They told me it might have been a software issue, so they took it, they checked it out, it cost me way more money than I want to spend. Um, come to find out, it wasn't the software, it was hard drive, so they sent it away, and it took a week to get it back. Now, it's under the manufacturing war warranty, but... So I, I didn't have to pay for the hard drive. But anyway, so I go ahead and, and send it, and they send it back, and, and they call me Monday, and um, I put all the information on an external hard drive, so I had to bring that back up to them. And they told me it would probably take about a day and a half. So I called today, Thursday, um, to find out where and if it's ready yet. And they tell me it should be ready by, you know, 2.33 o'clock. So... I, and they will call me when it was done. So I've tried to call. I try to call them back, and they haven't. And right now it is 4:01, and they still haven't called me. So I'm here at that store that I won't mention his name to find out where my laptop is. I want to take it with me to the Final Four. So let's see what happens. So I call the Best Buy store, and they answer. Finally answer. And after having my and I said I wasn't going to say this story, but anyway, who cares? After having my computer for three and a half days, they did tell me, oh, since you didn't purchase the recovery disc and we can't do anything about it, you need to purchase the recovery disc. And not from Best Buy, I had to go through Toshiba. So I called Toshiba, and the recovery discs are free, but shipping from Kentucky to Maryland is $24.95. Um, so you think Toshiba, since my computer is only... My hard drive was, you know, computer's only two months old. The hard drive, they would replace it free. Give me all that, but obviously not. So, I won't have my computer. So, I means obviously I'm not going to be able to blog this week, or at least put upload them. So, I need to say I'm a little bit upset at Best Buy and upset with Toshiba. But, I guess I, uh, lesson learned. Um, either spend the extra money when I don't have it, or don't buy Toshiba from Best Buy anymore. So, we just finished eating um, dinner at Seaside, and uh, yeah, I've calmed down a little bit. Still not happy with Best Buy, but, you know, things will happen. So, anyway, we have a little time to kill, so we're going to head to a store, which I'm not spending any more money. My wife is saying, but up to them. So, anyway, um, and then off to the Hippodrome. Yep, this is uh, where my wife is taking me. Not sure exactly why, but we are going in this store. Credit card! No. We know that stranger way back down there. He's, he's vlogging, so you're going to be a part of it. Not really sure why we come to the store. Shoes. We have enough shoes, but not sure why. Who gave you a fit? Courtney posted on Facebook. She was like, to everybody say happy birthday to my best friend. I'm, like, I'm really not sure how this works, but um, I said I wasn't going to get her uh, <laughs> shoes. Yeah, well, um, yeah, I'm going to get her shoes. I left my wallet out in the car on purpose without my credit card, and I told her I didn't have it. She knew it was in the car, so I have to, I went and got it, and now I am buying shoes. <sighs> Females. I don't understand the persuasion they have over us. Do you ever, when you go into a parking garage and you're driving and and it's really low, but yet you duck your own head? It's the strangest thing. I don't know why I still do it all the time. Um, it just makes no sense why we would duck our head because if we're going to hit it, we're going to hit it anyway. But that's what it is. Let's see. What floor? The ground? We'll see what happens. And we're on the fourth floor. All right, here we go. We'll try to take the cameras into the theater and we'll see what happens. So, so it said that no photography was allowed, but it didn't say anything about video. So I brought it in here, and um, just in case this is what we're seeing. 
and it's still early, and there's the stage. So, I'm sure they probably wouldn't like it if I videoed this, so. So we just got out of watching Shrek. Um, gotta admit, it wasn't bad. Hope I'm not getting hooked on musicals. <laughs> but anyway, um, I took some footage, so shh, don't tell anybody, because um, obviously I wasn't supposed to take any. So, uh...